Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be looking at this gel polish set from Castany. This is a 24 gel polish set plus three, meaning that it has two top coats and a base coat that they also include. So here's the instruction manual. And then you can see all the colors in there. I'm gonna get into actual swatches here in a minute so you can see the color story that they have. And then here is the base coat, top coat, and matte top coat so they include a shiny and a matte for you so let's go ahead and get started into those swatches so here's that first one i'm going to go ahead and let you guys listen to some music and then we will get into some demo nail art So first off, I just have to say I love the color variety that they give you in this collection. You can basically start off with any nail look right out of this box. So the colors that I chose today were C004, C005, and C014, that pink, purple, and blue. And for me, it was that blue that started this nail design idea. So I've gone ahead and started my nails off with a white on my ring finger and middle finger and then I'm just going to go ahead and do two layers of polish on my pinky in that purple and then the blue on my pointer finger and then that pink color on my thumb. I'm going to be sure to cure each of those in between in my LED or UV lamp. Now, if you were doing this on your natural nails, you want to make sure that you prep that nail plate, push it back your cuticles, remove any dead skin, and that you add a base coat after you remove any impurities from your nail plate. I will leave a video down below on nail preparation in case you have any questions. If you happen to get any polish on your skin, be sure that you remove that either with a cuticle pusher, orange wood stick, or a little bit of alcohol on a brush before you put it into the light to cure. So I've worked with these polishes a few times now and I just wanted to give you my thoughts real quick. Um, I really did enjoy working with these. They were very creamy. They went on very smoothly as you can see in the demonstration here. I didn't have any trouble with it curing or having bald patches or where there was inconsistency in the pigment itself. So I do think that this is a really good kit if you're interested in it. So at this point in the nail design, I'm just going to go in with some blooming gel after everything has cured. Now I do not cure this layer, but I want to make sure that I'm applying it very evenly to both of those white nails. Once I've applied that, I'm going to go ahead on a piece of plastic and put a little bit of each of those colors, that blue, pink, and purple. And then I'm going to go in with my dotting tool and I'm just going to add dots right over that wet gel. And again, I did not cure that gel. And then once I do that, it's just going to cause that gel to kind of open up or bloom, which is why they call it a blooming gel. You can also do this with a base coat if you don't have a blooming gel. I will leave everything that I use down below in the description box. And I'm just alternating on the nail whether I go up or down with those dots so that it fills in. The longer that you leave this, the more spread out that they will be. Once I have my dots on and where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and cure everything in my lamp for a full 30 seconds. That's fully cured. I'm going to go in with the matte top coat that was provided in the kit and I'm just going to be sure to apply this in an even layer and cap each of those nails. 
If you're worried about the nail becoming too bulky, you can skip capping it, but because this is matte, I wanted the finish to match on the free edge as well as the nail itself. So I just wanted to wrap up the video with my overall thoughts on this. I really loved the matte top coat. I think it worked perfectly. It wasn't a satin matte, it was a true matte. Also the shiny top coat was beautiful. Um, I didn't have any scratching or anything. And then as far as the base coat went, I didn't have any lifting or issues with these nails at all or any of the other times that I used this polish. I will link down below um, the other videos where I actually used the polish to do different nail designs. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.